In 1906, Uganda's colonial master Britain enacted a law on succession. According to the activists, the law did not reflect the customary practice of Ugandans, hence resulting in family wrangles when it comes to sharing property among the family. In 2018, Barara Woman MP Rosette Mujungu tabled a private member's bill seeking to overhaul the Colonial Succession Act. This week, Parliament passed a bill which makes it compulsory for men to provide for their spouses and dependents in their will. The Act provides that the spouse will get 20% of the estate in the event that his or her partner dies without leaving a will. Gives 20% of the property to the surviving spouse and then 75% to children who are the lineal descendants. They would only consider those who are born in the marriages, not knowing that whether born within the uh, legal marriage or not, they are all children. There was no distribution, so to say, by law. Because it used to be 15% for the wife or the wives, 75 for the children, 9 for the linear dependents, and 1 for the heir. Now it's been changed. At least there's something. But the Muslim leaders have raised some concerns. We, we don't think that the Muslims' views have been represented in this, to be very fair. The Muslim views have not been represented in that bill. To the best of my knowledge, the, the way the bill was given us was given to us to make it the same way it has been it has been passed. When a man dies or when a woman dies, the house, the matrimonial home, should remain with one of the or the with, with one. According to Islam, a man has his own wealth and the wife also has his has his own wealth. In Islam, if one of them dies, another one is a successor of another one. If, a, it is, if it is a husband who has died, then the, the, the wife will take eighth of his, of his estate. If there is a grandfather to the, to, the hand, to the husband, that husband will take sixth of his estate. Then the children will share the remaining what? The remaining what is what what remains of that of that what of that estate. Ordinarily in that in that regard, the boys if they are joined with the girls, then the boys take twice of, of the girls. Dr. Miriam Matembe, an activist, is happy that Parliament has changed the law after years of advocacy to have it halted. This law has been wanted especially especially when it comes to secure the widows. The widows secure the widows and the orphans when the man dies. Because these days some of us have got to wear it. I mean, some women have got to wear it. The, the, our, our widowed husbands would have got 50%. But for them, they look at it in terms of only women being the dependent, being the dependent. But now the law says that the, this man or woman cannot wheel out the residential, the, 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 what we call matrimonial home. She is, however, worried about its implementation when the president ascends to it. Implementation of this law is the biggest challenge. People make wills, and yet when they die, the relatives come, they ignore the wills. The Muslim leaders say they will use their Sharia law. And as Muslims and Justice and law, we intend to make a formal response to that, to that bill. We don't think that it presents the interest of Muslims. I would like to call upon the Muslims that you come and we adapt Sharia law. Uh, we have left the Muslims to be managed by the Mohammedan Act. For me personally, I will be managed by the Mohammedan Act. Jingo Francis, NTV.